All right, guys, we got this. Let's go. Good white trip speed. Control X, go. On one, on one. Ready? All right. What's up, guys? It's Pick'em with Huddle GG, and in this video, we're going to be talking about the ability known as Secure Tackler. This is going to be an ability we will equip on our defensive players, and defenders with this ability have an increased success rate when using conservative or diving tackles. Secure Tackler is going to ensure your opponent isn't able to consistently get broken tackles when running with the football. Now, you can use Secure Tackler all over the field, but having it on your user is where it can be most effective because if you do shoot a run gap or get to the ball carrier quickly, you don't have to worry about them breaking tackles against you. Now, with that being said, let's go into practice mode and see how beneficial this ability can be for our defense. Here in practice mode, we're going to show the effectiveness of Secure Tackler, and we're actually going to go against this King Henry card who has Freight Train automatically activated to start, okay? Now, the player I do want you to focus on in these two different reps that we run is this left of screen defensive end here, okay? I have Bill Romanowski here first who does not have Secure Tackler uh, as an ability, but he does have really high tackle ratings, right? So it's not going to be the tackle ratings here that's effective or that's affected it is going to be the fact that he does not have secure tackler okay so what we're going to do is we're just going to set up our defense real quick um and we're just going to go against oh one trap okay really popular run in the saints playbook in this tight offset and you're going to see that if this running back is lit up and he has the x factor it's going to be almost impossible for romanowski to get the tackle in the backfield because the ability for king henry is just going to brush off the tackle Okay, so if we run this here, you're going to see the guy come in, but that first tackle was broken, right? We had multiple people there, but you're going to see that that first tackle is almost always going to be broken because of just the ability mismatch here, right? So this first player here that we have coming in, hitting him in the backfield, 53, again, broken tackle. Now, again, thankfully we had another guy there, but that first guy, if he was the only guy that got there, he's not going to be able to make this tackle for us, okay? This is where secure tackler is going to be very great for us, right? So if we sub in a secure tackler and we go against the same exact play, right? We're going to sub in this Barno card, right? And we do the same exact thing on defense and offense here, right? You're going to see that this Barno card is able to uh, make the tackle in the backfield because of the secure tackler ability. Now, I do want to make you aware this is practice mode. I can't use her both sides, so I am counting on the computer to make this tackle. But again, if you are using this, you do want to have... Uh, either use a conservative tackle or a dive tackle, okay? And if you do get into a tackle battle, right, so where you have to push that A button or that X button repeatedly, depending on which console you're on, this is going to be a completely different scenario, and Secure Tackler won't affect that, okay? So that tackle battle is still going to be in the game, but as long as you avoid that, you're going to see here that when we run this, this guy in the backfield here, and there we hit him in the back, so it was a little weird. Let's run that one more time. Uh, for some reason, he didn't target the running back appropriately. So again, let's run this one more time. Like I said, it is kind of tough uh, just because I am counting on the computer to make the tackle here. Uh, but you're going to see here, as long as he goes to make that, you can see there he doesn't get that tackle broken, right? So as long as he targets the right guy, but again, a lot of times it's going to be with our user. So we don't have to worry about that targeting because it's going to be up to us. But you see here that remember when Romanowski came in, this first tackle, the running back just ran right through it, right? But since we have secure tackler here on our player, He's going to make this tackle nine times out of 10 if you're using that secure tackle or that or that conservative tackle or that dive tackle. Now, if the running back doesn't have an X factor lit up, you're pretty much going to get the tackle 10 times out of 10. But again, sometimes with these X factors, it will allow your opponent to get one off on you here and there. Um, but the vast majority of the time you are going to make that tackle. So again, let's just run it one more time here. Right. So we're going to come down here again. Watch that left of screen end. As soon as he comes in, he's going to make that tackle first attempt on that running back, whether he has that X factor lit up or not. Hopefully this video helps you have a better understanding of Secure Tackler. And for more Madden tips, make sure you check out all the free content on our YouTube channel. Have a great day.